Assalamu alaikum karibuni to Aroma Zanzibar's kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you how I make my delicious shrimp tacos and I have made my own corn tortillas and I've used this brand of uh, maize meal which is basically corn meal simply because I do not have masa harinas where I'm at. So I've used one cup of corn meal and one cup of all-purpose flour to start with, some baking powder, salt to taste, you're just going to mix it well to combine and then I used about two tablespoons of shortening which is Crisco but you can use any brand that you have and if you do not have shortening you can always use vegetable oil that should work as well. So you're just going to rub it in and mix it well and then I added, I squeezed in about quarter teaspoon of lemon juice you can use lime just to give that a little bit of freshness to the tortillas because you know masa harinas is uh, made with uh, lime it's a special uh, cornmeal that is used for the tortillas so i just wanted to replace to add that flavor to it all right then i just started adding the water and i've used uh, just room temperature water it's not hot or cold and uh, about half a cup to three-fourths of a cup. Best. Actually, I used half a cup plus uh, two tablespoons. And at some point here, I also added half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour. So total, I have used one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and one cup of cornmeal. All right, so just going to knead it well, just enough to combine. We're not developing any gluten. And then I just covered and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then after 10 minutes, we're ready to make the tortillas. Now for this recipe, you should be able to get about eight uh, medium-sized tortillas. So I got my parchment paper there or baking paper, or you can use wax paper because you do not roll this simply because, you know, when you roll, you need, uh, they're very sticky. So you need flour and I don't want this to be dry. I want them to be nice and moist. All right. So you're just going to spread them like that with the fingers until you get your desired size okay most of the time i use uh, the palm of my hand the whole hand to determine the size just like that and then on my pan here i've got my heat on medium then i just place the tortilla like that and then you remove the paper and let it cook for about two minutes or three minutes on each side it's very simple all right so that's it and our tortilla is ready so now i'm going to roast the vegetables for the salsa or pico de gallo whatever you prefer so i actually did this when i was resting the dough for the 10 minutes so i used the time to roast the vegetables and you can use whatever you want or you don't have to roast them if you don't want to but i always like to have my salsa smoky so I just sprinkled some cumin powder, some red chili powder, and some paprika, and black pepper. And then make sure that the heat is a little bit high so you can get them really, really smoky. You know, get all those uh, flavors and aromas in there. All right, so once that's done, keep them too cool. And now I'm going to marinate the shrimps. I've used about uh, uh, two pounds of large shrimps that are clean and divine and then i use the harissa paste that's about one tablespoon and squeeze in some lemon or lime and uh, olive oil i'm just going to mix it well to combine and then you're going to leave it to marinate for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes now i have shared the recipe on how i make the harissa i'll put the link in the description box below so now i've just uh, diced my vegetables just gonna put them in there. I like my smoky pico de gallo and not to miss the purple cabbage for some beautiful crunch and also that color it's to die for. So just gonna squeeze in some lemon, some salt there and some cilantro as well. And we're almost done. And now I'm going to make the 
taco sauce, which is mayonnaise, about three tablespoons. And uh, since I do not have sour cream, I've used lebne. Lebne is uh, a mixture of uh, cheese and yogurt, kind of, but it's really beautiful, just like sour cream. So, and then again, I'm using the harissa paste, which is really, really versatile, like I mentioned earlier. Just squeezing some lemon and a little bit of salt. And that's it. One more step. All right. We're just going to grill the shrimps and we'll be ready. Some cilantro. So now I'm ready to grill the shrimps. You can use a frying pan if you do not have a grill like this. Or you can use a barbecue. That's fine. And uh, this should take about two minutes on each side. This is heat is kind of medium high. And just in case I forget to mention that I do appreciate your support. And you will always find the ingredients and the measurements in the description box below. Alright. So... Now I'm just going to squeeze in some lemon to get that freshness, you know, the fresh lemon on the shrimp. It's just delicious. Incredible. All right. So now I'm going to take them out and we are ready to build our tacos. We've got all the condiments ready. And I have to tell you that this was an experiment for me because I was really, really dying to have shrimp tacos. And shrimp tacos, like any other taco, you want them in a corn tortilla so that they do not become soggy and they turn out almost perfect but it's just close and this is the closest i can get since i do not have the actual ingredients so i got my shrimps there my pico de gallo and uh, the taco sauce and uh, the guacamole i'm gonna squeeze in some lemon thank you for watching please do join me in my future videos as i share recipes from around the world.